In baseball, hardly anything matches the drama and excitement of a postseason game, especially when a well-timed home run can change the complexion of an entire playoff season. To jog your memory of the best of these moments, we've compiled this list of some of the best home runs in MLB postseason history. First up, we have Howie Kendrick in the 2019 World Series. After beating the seemingly unstoppable Dodgers with a grand slam in the 10th inning of the NLDS, Kendrick went on to do it again in the World Series. His his Game 7 homer beat the even more impressive Astros, leading to the first championship in national team history. Next on our list is Jose Bautista's bat flip in the 2015 ALDS. While the hit itself was spectacular, Bautista's trademark celebration is what really makes this moment. Considered one of the greatest bat flips in MLB history, there have been few others with as much impact as Bautista's. With this being a series clinching hit, you're left with a moment that will go on in baseball legend for a very long time. Who could forget Travis Ishikawa's 2014 pennant winner? A 21st round draft pick who almost gave up the sport, Ishikawa became a hero when he clinched the 2014 pennant for the Giants. At the bottom of the ninth in Game 5 of the 2014 NLCS, Ishikawa went on to prove himself with a game-winning homer that went down in history. This would be Ishikawa's first home run after 49 postseason at-bats. Goes to show how at the right place in time, anyone could be a hero in baseball. Next up, is David Ortiz's 2013 ALCS Grand Slam. Big Poppy has done enough to rank among the very best in the season of October. Perhaps no moment is as iconic as his Grand Slam in the 2013 ALCS. While Boston trailed by four runs and was ever so close to going 0-2 and two in the series, Ortiz's hit made all the difference. The Sox would go on to win both the ALCS and the World Series that year. Another iconic moment is David Fries forcing Game 7 in the 2011 World Series. This run is what wrapped up one of the wildest postseason games ever played in the MLB. While the Cardinals seemed all but a sure bet to lose the series, David Fries wasn't going to let that happen. After hitting a two-run triple in the ninth, he clinched the game with a homer right at the beginning of the 11th. Announcer Joe Buck would pay homage to his father's iconic 1991 call. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Next up is Maglio Ordinez sends the Tigers to the 2006 World Series. Before 2006, the Tigers hadn't qualified for the World Series since 1987, but it had to happen eventually. Ordinez ensured his team wouldn't go another year without a shot at the championship when he sent his team to the promised land with this unbelievable homer. Coming in next is Albert Pujols' NLCS winner in 2005. While the Astro fans were already celebrating their team's victory, Pujols went out to silence an entire arena. With only one outstanding between the Astros and a trip to the World Series, Series, Pujols sent a monstrous home run into the ceiling of the stadium. Although Houston would go on to win the series, the moment itself is undeniable. Continuing on our list is Chris Burke's 2005 NLDS winner in the 18th inning. In one of the longest playoff battles ever, Chris Burke went out to finally send fans home in the 18th inning. After a nearly six-hour-long game, Burke, who had only two postseason at-bats up until that point, stepped up to the play. He didn't disappoint as he just barely sent the ball into the stands, securing the NLDS victory. Next on our list is Aaron Boone's 2003 ALCS Curse Continuer. When the game was entering a nail-biting 11th inning, Aaron Boone went out to ensure victory. Boone sent the very first pitch he saw into the crowd, securing the franchise's 39th pennant victory. Next up is the moment Mr. November, Derek Jeter, was born in 2001. Happening just as the clock ticked over from October to November, Jeter's 10th inning home run marked the first time an ALNL game was played within the month. This, of course, meant Jeter was the only player to ever hit a home run in an ALNL game in November as well. Not only did he clinch a series tie for the Yankees, but earned the moniker of Mr. November as well. The second Blue Jays entry on our list is Joe Carter, solidifying back-to-back -back Blue Jay World Series in 1993. Touch them all, Joe. You'll never hit a bigger home run in your life. If you were a Blue Jays fan watching the 1993 World Series Live, these words will probably live fondly in your head for the rest of your life. As a matter of fact, this was only the second time a home run ended a World Series final. Clinching their second World Series in as many years, this moment will long be celebrated in the city of Toronto. We couldn't forget Kirby Puckett ending Game 6 in the 1991 World Series. In 1991, Puckett was an absolute star at bat for the Twins. He proved this time and time again, perhaps never in more spectacular fashion than in Game 
Game 6 of the World Series. In the 11th inning of the game, Puckett dug deep and sent a pitch from Charlie Liebrand well over the Metrodome's left field wall. Alongside a classic call from Jack Buck, this hit went down in history. Our list wouldn't be complete without Kirk Gibson's iconic 1988 Fall Classic homer. Kirk Gibson's home run in the 1988 Fall Classic has all the makings of a greatest of the all-time moment. From the fact the MVP was injured and overcoming serious doubters, to the insane fan reaction and unforgettable calls from the announcer table, few would dare argue with this being one of the greatest postseason home runs of all time. Next on our list is David Henderson stunning the Angels in the 1986 ALCS. Henderson's home run with two outs in the ninth inning of Game 5 shocked everyone. Although the Angels actually went on to win this game, it was Henderson's homer that turned the tide of the series, allowing the Red Sox to tear through Los Angeles in Game 6 and 7. Next up is Ozzie Smith sending the Cardinals fans into a frenzy in the 1985 NLCS. Ozzie Smith walked onto the diamond with a whopping 3,009 times at bat without hitting a single home run. Fans would have been forgiven for not paying close attention to Smith's swings, but they would have been sorry if they did. Smith reset the counter back to zero as he sent his pitch beyond the right field wall. We've reached our top five with Reggie Jackson hitting three homers in the 1977 World Series. Reggie Jackson earned the moniker of Mr. October for more than just being an outstanding player. And an outstanding player he was. As as a matter of fact, of all the playoff hitters before him, only Mickey Mantle had him beat in total runs, and only Pete Rose had him beat in total hits. The name of Mr. October, however, came from his series of home runs on October 18, 1977, where he hit three homers against three different pitchers. This is a feat only ever duplicated in a fall classic by Albert Pujols. Next up at number four is Chris Chambliss, rushed by fans after winning the 1976 ALCS. A testament to how much baseball means to some, Chambliss's 1976 home run saw him actually get mobbed by fans in the stadium, as this was the homer that sealed the Yankees' first trip to the World Series in 12 years. Fans couldn't contain their excitement. As Shambliss rounded the bases, he didn't even make it to third before fans swarmed him in the outfield to celebrate with their hero. Shambliss returned to the field later that night to ceremonially tap his bat on home plate, or at least where it would have been had fans not taken it with them to celebrate the Yankees' victory. Coming in at number three is Carlton Fisk waving it fair in the 1975 World Series. It has gone down in history as one of the most memorable gestures in baseball history. Because the cameraman was reportedly petrified by a rat nearby his setup, he didn't follow Fisk's hit with the camera. This led to Fisk himself waving the ball fair. When he realized it actually was, he did a leap of joy and solidified his team's spot in Game 7. Taking the number two spot is Bill Mazeroski, taking it home for the 1960 Pirates. In an era where the Yankees were seen as nearly unbeatable, the Pirates had to be on their A game to win the 1960 World Series, which Bill Mazeroski certainly was. Although the Yankees seemed to be outplaying the Pirates, they narrowly made it to a series deciding Game 7. The final game of the series had a total of 10 runs over the last two innings, the final of which belonged to Bill Mazeroski, clinching the game with a homer at the bottom of the ninth. Finally, is Babe Ruth calling his shot in the 1932 World Series? Likely the most iconic moment in all of pro baseball's history is Babe Ruth's call a home run. Although many fans will debate whether or not the call actually happened, it's gone down in history either way. What's not up for debate is the fact that Ruth won the game with this homer, which was a big part of the Yankees 1932 World Series win. It was the last World Series homer Ruth would ever hit. So there you have it, our list of the best home runs in MLB postseason history. Which one do you think should be ranked number one? Know of any other runs that you think deserve to make the list? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.